Hi family, it's Regina. If this is your first time, welcome. If you decide to hang out with me for a little while, welcome back, glad to have you here. We are doing more designer fragrances today. I am pulling them out, checking them out. I can't even begin to tell you which houses we're doing because I don't have that many, so it's an assortment. Glad to have you here. We are going to get started, as I like to say. Welcome. The first house we're going to do is Lalique. Not gonna lie, I bought these gorgeous bottles because they're purple. Now let's see what I think about the juice. This is Lalique Amethyst, and then I have the Amethyst Eclay and the Amethyst Esquise. Don't remember these. I know that they are a lovely designer-esque scent. I'm just gonna go in, we're just gonna spray. This not a great sprayer, but okay. Ooh, has a wine aroma to it, like grapes and some citrus. It's interesting. I would say this is a no. Great bottle, but it's a no. There is something that seems a little sharp at the at the initial spray. Maybe it dries down beautifully, but there's something sharp and like the wine note, the grape note is not sweet. It's a little tart. La Lique Amethyst is a no. Amethyst Eclay. Again, another gorgeous bottle. Saddened by the Amethyst Eau de Parfum not working. Ooh, pretty, like good spray. Oh, this one's sweeter, much sweeter, not as tart. This is another day scent. It doesn't come off very strong, so I'm thinking it would probably be more spring, summer. Definitely doesn't strike me as being winter, for sure, but lovely. Amethyst Eclay is a yes. And this one is Lalique Amethyst Esquise. Bottles just get me, you guys. Sometimes you just want a gorgeous bottle on your vanity, right? No? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, mm. This is even sweeter. This is another keeper, but it's almost sickeningly sweet. So I'm gonna say yes, it's a keeper, but it is a mature woman then, even though it's sweet. Would I say date night? No, because it's not sexy. That's not sexy to me. It's definitely to me still a day scent, unless you're going on a day date, but it's not, it's not sexy. It's a little sophisticated, a little sweet, not girly, a little clean too. There's a little freshness there as well. These two La Leaks make me happy. So this one stays. Another designer, Trish McAvoy. I have, this is number nine, Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. Look at that, you guys. Nice bottle, very interesting. I love Trish McAvoy back in the 80s, I guess. You have a crap sprayer. Oh, oh, the musk is coming through, but the Blackberry. And there is a sweetness, there is a juiciness and a sweetness to the blackberries. And then the musk is there with that vanilla. This is a day summer scent where you're just gonna smell fruity and delicious. You're not trying too hard. You're just gonna smell, you're just gonna smell good. Trish McAvoy, it looks like it's maybe number nine, Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. It's a keeper for me. <laughs> I have no idea where I got this from you guys. It just appeared on my shelf. So with this is Prada Infusion de Vanille, I believe is what it's called. And it comes with notes on the side, which says Infusion de Vanille, Vanilla, Bergamot, Neroli, Angelique, Eau de Parfum. I have no idea. I like every single one of those notes. It's gonna really break my heart if I don't like it at the end of the day. <laughs> but I'm gonna spray, we're gonna see how we feel because right now it is coming up after that Trish Mac and I'm in love with that fragrance. That is, it takes me back almost to that Victoria's Secret blackberry vanilla that I loved in my 20s. Takes me back there in terms of the juiciness and the sweetness of the blackberry. Oh, yeah, I know. Woo! wow! Oh my gosh, that is one of the best sprayers ever. The bergamot is strong. The bergamot is really strong, and the neroli. And then you get some green from the angelique. Or angelic, angelique, whichever. Honestly, this reminds me of a calmer, less intense black tie, or Don Paris by Celine. It, it's gorgeous, so yeah, okay, I'm gonna call it, it's a yes, it's certainly a yes, but this could be a work scent for me. It's not trying too hard, it's, it's there, it's not in your face, it's not trying to slap you. It just wants you to be in its presence because it smells that good. Wow, I don't know where I got it, but I'm glad I have it, because it's saying it's day. I have already done the house of YSL, and I was very honest and said that I love that house, I love that man, I love Baby Cat, <laughs> There's, I love his muses, They, I have so many, but I do not believe I tried Supreme Bouquet, which looks like this, by YSL, it was hiding behind that Prada, I'm going to do it now, 
and we're gonna see what I think. And it may not make it because Supreme Bouquet reminds me it's gonna be very, it's gonna be heavily floral. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a big floral person. Ooh, nice sprayer though. Nice, powerful. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. I lied. This, this is a floral done right. Don't spray too much. It, it probably will blow your brains out if you, if you overspray. Because I overspray. But it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Supreme Bouquet. I'm just going to call that too. It's a yes. Guys, I'm not doing so well. Oh my god. These are amazing fragrances. Let me pull off this one. This is Enrico Pears and Chocolate Delight. Again, I know I got them somewhere last year. That's all I know. Pears and chocolate. I don't know. I just don't know. Perhaps prayer, as they as they do. Oh, that chocolate is right at the top. It is an artificial milk chocolate. It smells kind of like flexicles. But I'm not getting any. No, I'm getting. It's all chocolate. I'm not getting any. It's a very mild chocolate. And then there's a juiciness and a little fruit that I'm thinking is the pear coming up after it. it but it is, they are both incredibly subtle. Yeah, to me, this smells like a fudgesicle. It's nice. I wasn't expecting to like it. I'm gonna keep it for round, until round two, because there are other things I know that I have that are chocolate, but nothing I have that smells like a fudgesicle. And I'm not, I have not been a fan of juicy pears. That, that note does really not set well on my nose, but this I do like. So this is Enrico, is it Enrico G? And it's pears and chocolate. I had to pull this one out because it drives me crazy. Less, boy smells. Boy smells? Less, boy smells, which I believe is a genderless line. Yes, gender, gender full fine fragrances. And I gotta be honest, what drives me nuts is why do you have this huge overblown cap for a relatively small perfume bottle. Let me spray. That's just a. And you have a really, really crap spray. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's nice though. That's juicy. That is sweet and juicy, but it's it's fruity juicy. It's not like vanilla. Like it smells like watermelon and mint. Oh, oh man, damn, I didn't want to like you less, but I do. But can you just come up with a better bottle size? <laughs> All right, let's hear Somewhere good and somewhere bad, somewhere happy, somewhere sad.